everyone welcome back so today we'll be talking about uh, working with tenant properties which is lab 2 so this is the lab we are talking about so we'll be working with tenant properties and for the task one we'll be creating the custom domains so task one would be creating the subdomains so this is what uh, we'll be talking about uh, in this video so coming to this like why would we use the subdomains so basically it helps the organization to navigate to different sections of the organization so this is the reason why we use the subdomains uh, just a small uh, general information about it however so to create a subdomain we have to go to the azure uh, portal so which is the this particular location so you have to go to this and uh, then you have to go to the azure active directory you can search here azure active directory or uh, you can directly go from the left uh, you can click this hamburger button and here you can see the azure active directory so this is two different ways that you can do it so let me go to azure active directory and in this case uh, you can see here manage tenant However, like we'll be not going to this one right now. We'll be uh, the main focus will be creating uh, subdomains. So for that, let me go to the manage section, and under this, you can see a section called uh, custom domain names. So in this, I'll be adding a custom domain name. So if you click that, already we have a custom domain name. So whenever you create like uh, let's say email IDs, so this is the domain that uh, is attached to. So now we'll be adding a custom domain, the subdomain, in which uh, we'll be adding the sales according to the docs. So let's add, uh, let's copy this first. And in this case, I'll be adding sales dot this particular ID. So you can see it's available. So I'll just add it. So this is how we can add uh, the custom domains. Right now we are adding the subdomain here and uh, you can see here the type is custom and the status is verified because uh, if, if we talk about errors so there are like various uh, so basically we'll be having issues whenever we try to create it uh, these are known as uh, verification issues so usually if if that fails these are the reasons for that so we have to wait at least run out and try again or uh, if you're trying to verify a child domain verify the parent domain first in this case uh, we are doing the child domain which is the sales so our main domain is already been uh, verified so since that is the reason uh, we are good to go and the other one is make sure this dns record is correct and make sure the domain name is it already in the use in another directory which is not so make sure you don't have any Un, uh, unmanaged power bi tenants so these are some of the issues uh, which are mentioned in microsoft docs so stating that let's go ahead and uh, add it so since this is a subdomain it's already been verified uh, let's try other one so if i click the custom domain and if i add uh, let's add this to mine so you know right now you can see there is a different options coming to the before one so basically if you talk about uh, the record type it's txt record so there is difference between txt as well as nx uh, records so the first one it is the key component of several different email authentication methods uh, that will help an uh, email server determine if the message is from the trusted, uh, trusted source so basically the spammers cannot uh, fake or force these particular domains. So here comes uh, TXT for that. Whereas on the other hand, we have MX records, which is uh, mail exchange. So these records directs uh, email to a mail server. So MX record indicates how email messages should be routed uh, in accordance with the simple uh, mail transfer protocol, which is SMPT. So all these mail servers uh, will work on this particular protocol so that is what uh, these two differences and here you have to verify it whereas when we were doing the previous one explicitly we didn't got uh, this particular thing so if i click verify you can see fail to verify this domain name because i don't have this particular domain name so that is the reason uh, 
I'm getting this error so I just wanted to show you this so whenever you buy some domain from like various other uh, platforms let's say GoDaddy or some other platforms so you have to verify from there so I'm just showing you just for an example here so I'm just deleting it so it's done so coming to the lab we have completed uh, the first task which is uh, creating a subdomain so we are completed with this uh, i hope i hope you guys have uh, understood the concept of today's video creating the subdomain names if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video and i'll be keeping the relevant videos in the description uh, for you to watch do check them out thank you